so you want to come to germany but have no idea where to start and uh, no information about it so i made this video for you please keep watching So you know relocation is a big uh, thing and when you want to relocate to uh, um, a stranger place like Germany then you should know a few things and this is why I made this video for you. But before I continue there is a disclaimer for you and uh, please read it and now we are going to continue. So why Germany is an attractive destination for people? because it has great lifestyle, high quality of German education and um, you receive much higher pay scale, much better scope for some fields and um, its work environment is very family friendly. But there are some challenges like here you have to learn German language and German work culture is very efficient and very productive um, they are very punctual and very professional and there are some cultural differences which um, <laughs> create um, so much problems. Um, here social life is completely different and uh, living expenses are also higher in comparison to India. So let's talk about the type of German visa. I will not go in detail but there are two different kind of German visa short term and long term. So short term you can take for three months which can be either tourist or visit visa. Um, and um, in long term visa that can be uh, convertible and um, uh, suppose you come to Germany for language course then you apply for language course visa. And um, if you apply for university, you can come and see the university here. So you can apply for a student applicant visa, a student visa and job seeker visa, which is self-explanatory. And there is also a business visa. Then there are airport trans transit visa, working visa, guest scientist visa, training or internship visa, a medical treatment visa and um, trade, trade fair and exhibitions visa. So there are other terms too. Um, when you, the visa in which you call your family is um, called family reunion visa. When you come to Germany, you have to get registered in for uh, foreign office, which is called Auslander Behörde. Um, you will get a work permit if you're working, and uh, there is a blue card or a uh, or blue card. Um, then you can aim for permanent residence or you can uh, search for um, requirements of citizenship after you spend a particular time period here. Now let's talk about how German visa application procedure is done. So first you have to make an online apartment in the embassy consulate or application center and then you have to visit there, attend the appointment and bring all the requirement document with you, submit them uh, uh, the information that they need and then you have to wait for the response. It can, it can take uh, much time, sometimes um, months and, uh, for getting a response back. And then you can go and collect your visa or visa rejection. So here is the list of uh, German embassy and consulates. And um, it depends on which state you live in. And, and there you have to visit and apply. But main question you should ask to yourself is where do you want to be in next 15 years? So it's not like that, that you come to Germany for a few years and then go back to India and everything will be same as it was or a bit better. Uh, no, usually it doesn't work in that way. 
so and if you pay so much effort and for example for for the visa and for learning language and then you go back to india and then again start from zero it really doesn't make sense so that's why i'm telling you that um, before making your strategy you have to think that where do you want to see yourself in next 15 years so now let's talk about learning german language you will need at least 2 years to learn a1 to c1 and german language is one of the toughest language to learn so but good news is for most purposes b1 language proficiency is sufficient basically it's not about certificates it's about your lsrw skills I talk about this these skills in one of my videos I will put the link in description please go and watch this and um, um people ask that how much money you you will need to uh, learn the language usually um it is not uh, much so it depends on how you want to learn it so I made uh, two videos about learning german and you can see them all also i will put the link in description and also um i would say that most of the time it's free so for example you can watch my videos i made some german teaching videos too and um, i am planning to work out more on this topic So before you want to study in Germany what you should know there is no tuition fee in university so that's why education in Germany is cheaper in comparison to India and that makes it a very attractive destination for Indian student and there are more than 14500 bachelor and masters program to choose from there are some scholarship i also got very prestigious scholarship here there are great opportunities um, during and after um, your studies and there are some courses that are in english as well so all this may sound very easy to you hmm? it is not now let's talk about what you need to know before coming to germany as a student so um for german learning to the level of uh, study in uh, university you have to do one of these courses one uh, first one is called test stuff and other one is called dsa which is deutsche sprachprüfung für hochschule zugang so i did this one yay uh, to bridge between indian and german education you have to study a course which is called a student colleague and um, you can refer the website for more details and um, you have to apply through uni assist and um, average cost of living is about 700 euro per month again it depends on your lifestyle um, before coming to germany you have to make a blocked account if you don't have any source of income in germany uh, and you should put 8700 euro in that and every month you can draw a few so some particular amount from that uh, not more than that so uh, i would say that nobody can help you and even if i give you my cv and my document you are not going to get the scholarship that i applied for you know because my study and my background was completely different than yours so uh, stop and trying to copy anybody you have to be very individualistic uh before spending money on and um and, and this process you should think a lot and uh, maybe and this could be scam or basically nobody can help you i also did my own research i also did, paid my own effort you also have to do the same now let's talk about part time jobs you can either work at a university or um, you can do a typical student job in your town for example as a waiter or waitress in a cafe or as a babysitter or temporary work at uh, trade fairs you are allowed to work 120 full days and 240 half days per year there is there is no uh, self employment allowed and um, 
um, if you want to work more than that you have to seek permission from again to for our bite or local employment agency or auslander beholder uh, foreign registration office uh, and there are exceptions for student assistance if you want to work in germany i already made a few videos regarding that i will put link in description and please you can refer it there and um, but when you talk about salary um, negotiation i would say that um, in, in germany you have to pay a lot of taxes and they are automatically de deducted so the brutto salary is best defined as the sum of salary before the deduction of tax and insurance and netto salary is the result of initial pay including tax and other sort of deduction made so average let's talk about average salary so an average salary for hairdresser is 1178 euros per month and for a physician for a doctor who is medical specialist this salary can be 7054 euro per month so there are two ends of um, salary limits and um, you can do your own research and find out that in your field what salary you are expected to get now let's talk more about it in germany there is a great work life balance you have to be punctual organized and efficient and when you talk about punctuality organization and efficiency it's at least two or four times more than indian punctuality indian organization and india indian efficiency so really you have to pay a lot of effort and then language is always a plus so let's talk about love life in germany Uh, we usually see hollywood pictures and then think that um, he, he, it is very easy to find um, a german or um, um, european boyfriend or girlfriend um, it's not so me here people know about india and um, they have the image of bollywood and media and uh, uh something that is projected on uh, by other south asian people here so and um, it, it doesn't look uh, uh, good uh, chance for people to uh, get a german spouse but when you do get it's uh, it's a nice thing i have seen many i have seen many interracial couples here and they are happy they have kids and um, in munich in fact i have uh, seen three or four generation of um, and, uh, and those combinations of indian and german spouses so uh, according to social life uh, you will not feel included sometimes because of the language because of the culture here but um, that's okay and i think it's both uh, good and bad to uh, bad here a thing here that nobody cares uh, what you wear nobody cares um, what you do but on the other hand nobody cares if you feel alone and isolated so uh, it has both of the aspects um yeah, and like rest of the world here uh, uh, dating uh, is first done second step is the love and the relationship that develops out of it and then kid or marriage whatever comes first and um, for marriage i would say that um, uh, if you are not um, in, in german then it's not very easy to get married in germany even for some german people also it's not easy to get married in germany so if you want to get married in um, uh, europe uh, then you should ma get married in uh, denmark i also put uh, a video about this topic and um, let's talk about uh, indian community gatherings so there are certain only one or two um, uh, community gatherings per year so uh, basically it depends on you how good relation you make so sometimes you are lucky enough like us who get um, diamond out, out of uh, indian peoples you know 
so and we have uh, like families here and people helping around and in these groups people share everything with uh, in each other so if you are an indian you come here then you can see on facebook and whatsapp uh, you will be uh, highly welcomed in in these groups and have fun there now let's talk about social life and weather so yeah it's cold and um, a great part of um, germany is um, tasty tasty breads and um, beer and, um, and here in germany nobody nobody drinks to get drunk they and drink to socialize so there is a big difference and if you love sports and handwork it's just like a heaven for you you will get a lot of things and a lot of appreciation about it and um, music is completely different you should hear radio and um, everything is very different than india uh, and here weather is cold but in, in, once you are inside your home you are warm and cozy and in german there is a um, saying which is es gibt kein schlechtes weather nur schlechtes bekleidung so that means there is no bad weather only bad clothing and so if you want buy the jackets that is good enough to protect you from the cold then you are good to go and enjoy now let's talk about having a family in germany and so you can bring your spouse and children very easily through family reunion visa typically marriages change your tax class and it increases your salary a bit yay if you have kids until they are 18 years old you get 192 euro as a kindergarten or child benefit i also made another video about it and it is about how to apply for kindergarten and then there is another video about elton gal or parental benefits and um, um the health insurance of uh, your spouse and children is mostly covered in your health insurance you should check this thing before calling them and um, another thing is um, when you want to calculate how much money um, is needed for living expenses here so average rent is 1000 euro and other monthly expenses are at minimum 400 euro and obviously it depends on your lifestyle how much you are going to save now let's talk about being a home spouse in germany so when your spouse goes outside home to work sometimes it's so that um, for the whole day you are alone and um, it seems very uh, difficult to stay in germany in that cases most of the time i have seen that um, when um, uh, experts uh, come here they don't feel good here they feel isolated neglected and so and um, it, it takes a great toll on the relationship also and here you have to uh, do everything without maids and without any household help and without much emotional support because of time difference and everything so but basically you have to be smart because you have to take care of everything that um, you are working a spouse cannot do for example you when you are essential enough you should take care of the income tax refunds career planning your own career planning and the career planning of your significant other uh, school and daycare and uh, kids and uh, such things it's um, really stressful sometimes uh, so when you come when you decide to come to germany as a spouse home spouse then you should be prepared for this thing so this video ends here let's subscribe to my channel for a pretzel and beer prost and best of luck bye bye